The biggest upping of my game in the last uh, year and a half or so is learning from the laws and the universe about authenticity and, and, and being yourself and being open to opportunities instead of trying to force things to, uh, you know, the masculine and feminine energies of it all, the, um, you know, just like letting go and stepping into the vibration of who I really am. Because for years, I was that prim and proper, serious business woman who didn't talk about her woo-woo, who didn't really, I mean, I have my my Harry Potter decorations, but I didn't really talk about it. And, you know, and I didn't dress the way that I like to dress. I mean, my transformation through working with you and the laws and the inner game of things brought me, I mean, I cleaned out my closet and bought new clothes and went, you know, bought things that I hadn't worn in years because I didn't think it was appropriate to wear in business. And it's like, why not? Yeah. So let me, let me interrupt for those of you who are listening to the podcast and not watching it on YouTube. She is in her office and behind her, she has a Hogwarts, um, train station sign. And, um, I'm looking at you and you look prefer perfectly professional to me, but it's a, um, blue paisley shirt. And I don't know what the before was, but it was just not her energy. I mean, I know what the before was, but the, 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 it, this does not look particularly non prim and proper. It just looks blue and paisley to me, but there's a, she feels more aligned with who she truly is. And she's able to now get on a podcast and talk about her Alexa that says what her horoscope is and all this sort of stuff. And she's, she's able to express herself and be that in her business and not be so tamped down and, um, and quite frankly, in my words, not yours, but quite frankly, afraid to be who you were and who you are. And that's, that's suppression. That's fear. That, and, and that's a very hard way to live. It makes it like you have to watch every single word you're, you're saying and everything you're doing. And that's like walking on eggshells and it, and it sucks. Absolutely. 100%. That is, that is, those are your words, but that does express it. I, you know, I was walking on eggshells. I wasn't fully expressing myself in any way, you know, and, and I was like, I was worried about being judged for what I wore and what I said. And, and, and I, it took me forever to even venture into video online because as much as I teach my clients that it's, you know, it's not about how you look, it's do it. And, you know, I still, refrained from doing video and being me on video, even when I did video, because, you know, I can be this boisterous, you know, use my hands, talk kind of funny and, and whatever. And, you know, I used to judge myself and going, no one wants to see that. That's not a professional business person or, Ooh, look what I, you know, and it's like, wait a minute, stop that, you know, be who I am, open up to all that there is by being who I am and expressing it. And, and it has just been night and day in in all aspects, not just in my business, in my personal life, in my family life. Everything I do is a, on a much higher level now because I am not suppressing myself, my true self, my inner self, who I am. I'm letting it shine and I'm being me and, and accepting that some people aren't going to like that and that's okay. Yeah, no, I love it. I love it. Okay. What's one thing that you do? to continue to up your game, to continue to grow? Because as you know, if you're not growing, you're dying, right? I continue to find people and places and things, so to speak, that keep me in the vibration, that keep me in the zone, that don't, I mean, you know, stuff happens and you do, you have a bad day or whatever, but I surround myself with those things to be able to keep myself on that higher vibration as much as possible to remind me if I'm, if I'm starting to feel in the dumps or whatever, and I look at something on my desk, I mean, I have these little things on my desk that are like, okay, or I'll turn around and look at all the Harry Potter stuff in my office or, you know, any number of things. And, you know, and I'll, I'll lean into my groups. I'll lean into, you know, I'll 
Amira, I'm having this weird day. And, you know, I talk to people too. I talk to Amira. I talk to the other people in the coaching program and, and other people in, in like mentorships and groups that I belong to surrounding myself with the things and the people and the ability to lean in when things seem to be going wonky in whatever way that is and continuing to work with people nonstop. I will never stop working with mentors, masterminds, and coaches uh, because if you do, you get stuck and stagnant and you you think you know it all, but you don't. <laughs> yeah, you're in the forest for the trees. You can't see your own stuff sometimes. Sometimes you can, but sometimes you can't. If you want to master your business, you must master your mindset first. Our next The 7 Laws to 7 Figures Summit is designed to help you do just that. This November, in just three days, I am going to be giving you a roadmap of exactly what you need to do to dramatically increase your income and achieve the freedom that you desire without burnout. Podcast listeners, you can save big by visiting theunstoppablewoman.com slash breakthrough to grab your super early bird ticket today and save $800. You better hurry while the offer is still available. Bye for now, and I'll see you at the summit.